The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Now we'll take a look at a titration curve for a weak acid and a strong base. Okay, great. Okay, let's begin here with the, what, is, what are we looking at? We're looking at a pH titration curve for 25 milliliters of a 0.1 molar acidic acid solution with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So what this is telling us now is that in our flask, we're gonna have acidic acid and then we're slowly gonna be adding our sodium hydroxide. Now let's go back to our graph. Here's the, the reaction, what's gonna actually happen. The acidic acid is actually gonna react with the base that we put in, right? And we're gonna, and we're gonna end up getting an acetate ion. Now, when you put equal amounts, so at the equivalence point, we're gonna, when we put equal amounts of the acidic acid and equal amounts of uh, the, equal amounts of volume, the uh, sodium hydroxide, these two are going to virtually go to completion, right? And 100%, and then we're gonna end up with this. Now, what this acetate ion will then do, the acetate ion then actually reacts with the water, right? And that's gonna give us the acidic acid, and then we're gonna be left with a hydroxide anion. Now, if we're left with hydroxide at the end, right? the solution will no longer be neutral, right? So it won't have a pH of seven. Would it have a pH of uh, higher than seven or would it have a pH lower than seven? Well, it's gonna have a pH higher than seven, right? Because the solution is now gonna be more basic. And if we take a look at the equivalence point, so that's again, 25 mils of each, we see that the equivalence point is above eight and it's exactly what we had anticipated. Great. Now, one other thing that I would like to bring to your attention is when we add half of the initial volume that we have, so we have in our flask 12, 25 milliliters, right? So let me just go, oh, let me just go back here. So we have 25 milliliters in here, right? Half of 25 milliliters is 12.5 uh, milliliters. So when we add 12.5 milliliters of base into here, what actually ends up happening is so we add 12.5 milliliters of base, so that's gonna be right around here between the 10 and the 15. Between the 10 and the 15, so that's gonna be at that point. The, at this point here, right, your pH is going to equal your pKa. And that there is called the half equivalence point, right? The half equivalence point. And we're gonna demonstrate now that how at the half equivalence point, the pH equals the pKa. And at that point, it will be a buffer solution of the acetic acid and the acetate. And recall for buffer solutions in the previous lecture, we said we can call upon the henderson hasselbalch equation. And we'll use that to demonstrate that pH equals pKa on the uh, next slide.